This experiment will help in understanding the concept of ignition temperature. The materials required for this experiment are a burning candle, a piece of paper and some water. Kindly perform this experiment under the supervision of an adult. Firstly, we fold the piece of paper in the form of a funnel, make a paper cup out of it and place the tip of the cup close to the burning candle. As we can see that the paper immediately catches fire. When the tip of the paper was brought close to the flame, the temperature of the paper began to increase. After reaching a certain temperature, it caught fire. The lowest temperature at which any substance catches fire is called as its ignition temperature. Now we shall observe what happens when some water is poured into the paper cup. We repeat the experiment by bringing the tip of the cup near the flame of the candle. We can observe that this time the paper does not instantly catch fire. Can you think why? The heat that is given to the paper cup is transferred to the water inside. So the ignition temperature of the paper is not reached yet in the presence of water and hence it does not burn. You can dip your finger carefully into the water and observe the temperature of the water. You can notice that the water becomes hot. In fact, if we continue heating, we can even boil the water in this paper cup without burning the paper. This activity shows that it is essential for a substance to reach ignition temperature to burn. Different substances have different ignition temperature. The substances which have very low ignition temperature can catch fire easily, for example petrol and kerosene. Look around you and think of substances which burn easily and with that you can classify objects into having high or low ignition temperature.